Hello Crafty Llamas! In this video I'll be showing you how to cast on. So I'm not sure exactly what this cast on method is called, helpful I know. It's one of those that my mum taught me when I was younger and um, it's pretty much the only way I cast it on for about probably about 10 12 years and then recently I learned other methods so I'm going to show you this method to begin with and um, yeah let's see how we get on so all I've got to do this is I've got um, this is a ball of Aran yarn I have no idea where it's from I rescued it from some woman on Facebook who didn't want it anymore and then I've just got some my higher higher steel needles here I've got 4.5 millimeter and then I've just got a short cable to show you um, how I'm gonna do this right so um, first of all I'm just going to get my yarn pop that out of the way and we're gonna start with a slip stitch so um, or a slip knot so if you don't know how to do a slip knot it's really easy just take your tail end which is this bit the end of your yarn in your um, non dominant hand wrap it over your two fingers like so X and then pop that bit through like so pull it up and then when you pull on your working yarn it tightens the loop so you're going to slip this over your first needle um, I am right handed so I slip it over my left needle um, as a warning I am a um, combination knitter which means I'm a, I do a mix of Eastern and Western continental knitting so this may look a little bit different essentially it means I hold my yarn in my left hand rather than my right hand and I knit through the back loop rather than the front loop if that doesn't mean anything to you don't worry um, so first of all you're going to have that one slip knot on your needle like so and for your first stitch, what you're going to do is you're going to pop your other needle, your right hand needle, through that stitch. So you can see that's just between the needle and the bottom of the slip knot. Yarn over and pull through, like so. Just to help you do this bit, I tend to hold the uh, working tail of my yarn just a little bit, just to give me um, a little bit of kind of something to pull against. And those are your first two stitches so if your pattern says for example cast on 10 stitches um, so now what you've got is you've got two stitches on your needle um, and what you're going to do is you're going to go in between those two stitches so if you pull down a little bit if I bring this up closer to you here you can see I'm going to go in between the two stitches so I'm going to get my needle and go through there like that and you can see um, I've literally just gone in between them I haven't gone through any of the stitches just between the two and then you yarn over like so and pull through and you literally what I do is at this point before I tighten that next stitch I slip my needle just in that gap there like so slip that through pull it tight and then do my next I just keep doing that until I've got ten so let's carry on so I've now got four so I've gone in between, yarn over, and just pull that through. If you are using thin yarns, it can be quite tricky just to kind of, when you're kind of pulling through, just to slip that over your needle. So what I tend to do is I use my finger to help me. So I twist the yarn using my kind of index finger. I twist it down, just make that a little bit tighter. And then you can leverage your needle up as you come through, which just helps you pull that through better. Um, you could also do this with a crochet hook. Let's see if I've got one to hand and show you how you could do that with a crochet hook. Um, so if you're struggling with the needle, let me see. Yes, I do. It's a bit of a small crochet hook, so you'll have to bear with me. Um, but if you are struggling with the needle, what you can do is you can place your crochet hook, like you would with your needle, between the two stitches, yarn over your hook, and then just pull it through and onto the needle. And that is actually probably easier than using a knitting needle. So um, I think I've just found my very own hack, um, which I'm sure many people have come up with before, but that is actually so much easier. So you can do it that way. Um, if you don't have a crochet hook, you can just use your needle, obviously. So I've now got two, four, six, eight, nine. So one more, like so. 
and now you have got 10 stitches on your needle. So if you were then going to knit or purl, um, I'll do separate videos for those, uh, which once they're all up, we'll make sure they're all linked um, underneath. But until then, I'm just gonna have to trust me. Um, so when you go to kind of knit or purl, you would literally, once again, this is where my knitting might look different to yours, because um, I'm a combination knitter. You just pop your needle in and you just knit away. There's no twisting that you need to do, like with some cast on methods, you literally just kind of cast on and go. Nothing else needed. One of the benefits of this cast on method as well is that because you're not working off a tail end, like you are with some method, you don't have to kind of guesstimate how much yarn you're going to need and then get to like the last 12 stitches and realize you don't have enough yarn. So because you're working the, you're using the working tail of your yarn, you don't have to worry about having to try and figure out how much yarn you're going to need. Um, which was one of the reasons I think my mum taught me because I always struggled with knowing how much yarn I would need to cast on. Um, it was always one of those where it's like, do I need an arm's length? Do I need two arms length? I just don't know. Um, so I'll then, um, all I've done is just knitted a row there just so that we can see what that looks like when it's all done. So one of the things I do like about the cast on method is that it creates a nice, um, I don't know how to describe it, I guess it's um, like a twisted edge which looks quite neat, which personally I, I like on my knitting. It's, it looks really tidy, really neat. Um, and yeah, like I said, this is pretty much the only cast on method I've ever used up until quite recently, where I learned how to do the kind of thumb cast on method, which I'll, I'll be doing in another video for you. Um, so yeah, that's how you do this one. It's nice and simple, quick and easy. And so that is my favorite cast on method of which I don't know the name. If you know the name of the cast on method, please do let me know. Um, I'd love to know what it's called. Um, I will be asking my mum to see if she can kind of rack her brain to remember it, but um, who knows? Anyway, um, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please let me know by commenting below and liking it. We do have weekly videos, so please subscribe to my channel. Our social media handle is Crafty Llama UK, so you can find us on various platforms using that. Please tag us if you attempt anything from this video. And of course, you can purchase the knitting needles from my Etsy shop, which will be linked below. So that's it for this week's video, um, but I will be back with another one for you next week. Bye.